What's going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing CCP Labs Modern Times Matte Paste. It's kind of a mouthful, but it is a collab product with Modern Plax. Um, unfortunately, they did not send me the actual container because at the time that they sent this, um, they sent it with the other review I did on CCP Labs multi-purpose hydro clay and this product was not released yet so they sent me a sample size so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to review the container but i have seen the container be so i'll touch on it just a little bit but primarily focused on how the product works in your hair uh, because at the end of the day even though it's like i judge it 50 on how the product appears and 50 percent on how the product be performs I mean, when it comes down to it, the product for performance is the number one priority. So I would say it was like more 60, 40, but you know, whatever it is. Um, but I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna get into this review. Here we go. All right, y'all. So because I didn't get the actual packaging of the product, I'm not gonna really spend too much time on it. I just seen pictures and from the pictures, I know it's a four ounce gla glass jar with a minimal label and a white top. So if anything, I'm gonna compare it to, it's the Arcadian, uh, the Pomp collaboration, which actually is one of my favorite jars. So if it actually looks like that, then I definitely give it a, a thumbs up for the uh, design of the product. But I'm actually gonna focus more on the product itself because that's what I have. Um, when you actually open up the jar, I've used it a few times. It has like an earthy tone to it, like a clay-like uh, color to it, uh, which is what it should be because it is a clay. It's a matte paste. It's not a clay, but it's a matte paste. And I know it has some uh, clay ingredients in it to make it that matte kind of appearance. So overall, on like that, I give it a thumbs up because I, it just gives me a reassurance that I know that they're using raw in a, a organic ingredients because uh, you can tell just by the tone and like kind of what, what a product looks like um, if it's uh, sourced properly or if it's been using their proper ingredients. Um, when you scoop it out of the jar, it's pretty soft. I would say um, in comparison to the hydro clay, so if you've not seen that and you're a brand new viewer, the hydro clay kind of scoops out so soft because it's, I think it's holding like a lot of water in it, hence the hydro in it. Um, this one, I think the collab product is almost like the same product, just slightly tweaked in almost every category. So what I mean by that is the consistency and the breakdown is a little bit more thick than the hydro clay because I think they were going for more of a more textured, more hold, and also a more matte finish because it's called a matte paste. Um, but yeah, so it, it almost beats the hydro clay in every facet. I mean, depends on what you're looking for, obviously. If you're looking for like a, you know, a, a moderate, like a kind of moderate shine, um, super light hold, uh, just and, and loads of texture, then you might want to go with the hydro clay. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more hold, a little bit more matte, and um, a little bit more texture, I would say this has more texture just because it's a thicker consistency. And what happens with a thicker consistency is it kind of like pieces your hair together. So it appears like it has more texture. And I almost feel like there's two types of textures. Like you can have just like normal, like clean texture, or you can have the PC look like, uh, like the PC type uh, texture where like you're, it kind of like groups like larger quantities of hair together and it kind of gives you that PC like effortless look, um, kind of like bedhead. And that kind of is more achieved with this product than the hydro clay. But even then, like uh, with this, it says a matte paste. And I've tried this in two different uh, scenarios, right? So I used the super skinny serum, I blow dry and then put it in. And I got a kind of a more of a low shine, not even like matte, it was like a low shine, but high textured look. And I thought maybe it was a super skinny serum that would, cause like it, it, that kind of gives you your, your hair like a like shinier look, but it makes it super soft and it kind of acts like a heat protectant and it dries my hair way faster. So many benefits. If you haven't seen that video, hit that hit that video up for sure. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite pre styles, if not my only pre style I ever use. But uh, yeah, that's, man, this is bomb. This smells so bomb. I didn't even talk. Did I even talk about smell? I don't think I even talked about smell yet, which is. I think the product's best feature. But anyways, I think I got sidetracked. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna go back to the last thing I was talking about because I just lost track of my mind. When I, when I smell this, it smells so good that I'm like, whoa, I lost my track. Then I also tried, sorry, I'm going to method two now. So when I, when I 
blow dried my hair without any pre-styler. I just did uh, medium heat, blow dried my hair, and then I put it in. It did maybe get a little bit more matte, but still, it's still like a natural finish, and it's got high texture. Um, not the PC look texture, just like normal texture, if that makes sense. It's like a two different types of textures, man. Like, I don't even know. Like, it, it's not the PC look that you get with Arcadian, that's for sure. Like, this is just like a high texture, but not PC look. And it's a natural hold. And then I actually put it in my hair today. You can kind of see it. So you see, you, you get the texture. Like, you can see the texture, but it's now matte. Before it was, like, natural. And now it's matte, but but that's because I think I was going through the day. I mean, I I was been outside. The sun hit my hair, and you know, just doing normal things. Uh, I think some of the water evaporated out of the product, and it was left more with the clays because this has some clays in it, I believe, which kind of gives it that matte, almost matte look, and like the the the, the texture as well. Because a, a lot of clays are what uh, most products use when they they want to achieve uh, you know a high texture product. Um, I want to touch again back on the smell. I, I talked about those two methods. I, it's all jumbled up, man. I'm just kind of, I just kind of reviewed these products, you know. I'm just, I'm just doing it, you know. Yeah, but the scent is like a fruity, like almost like fruity pebbles, like, but like a super subtle. It's not like fruity pebbles, you know. It's like super subtle, super, super soft, but fruity. Your hair doesn't smell like it later in the day. It's just like, it's just nice to open the jar and just smell it. The other Hydro Clay, um, it had a fruity smell as well. It's a little stronger, but if I had to put them head to head, like this would win in a, in a, in a, in a smelling battle, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it smells bomb. So like, if I was gonna like really compare this to any product, I would compare it to the original product by them. I think this one has more hold. Um, that's not really saying too much because it's not like a clay product it's a matte texture or a, or a matte paste so like it's got like a medium-ish hold and then like the hydro clay has like a lighter and like like a soft medium like you know like a softer medium it's like a light light hold but like medium hold but like not completely medium hold so it's like in between a light and medium and uh this one has a better scent I think the packaging, if if it it looks like it, it does in pictures, I think the packaging is better. I think the texture, it could be about even. If I was gonna pick it, I would still probably pick this um, over the other product just because it is a little thicker consistency. It's nothing like unbearable. It goes through your hair super effortlessly. But it, I think usually uh, products that are harder to break down end up being like almost better at creating the type of texture you're looking for only exception is arcadian clay pomade because i don't know how i really still don't know how that works somehow it breaks down like butter and it, it gives you unreal texture and unreal hold. it just doesn't make any i don't i i, I still don't i don't i don't understand it but i'm not gonna ask questions because it's, it's super bomb this one i mean it does it if i'm looking for more of like a natural hold or like more of a or like more of a formal look because I, I love I'm a matte finish type guy I just I think it just I love the PC look and everything uh, natural hold I could use this like maybe at a business event where I, I put my hair back and just like it's almost matte but it's like natural finish you know type that type of look um, but yeah I think I covered everything with this review um, if, I, if you're gonna consider this or the other CCP Labs product, I would probably pick this one. That's my personal preference, but it's also what you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a slick back look, I would probably go with the uh, Hydro Clay because it is softer, easier to like comb through your hair, um, and it kind of gives you more of a shiny, shiny look. Not not like a crazy amount of shining, like not like a super like traditional pomade, but there is some shine there. Probably like a four out of ten, and then I would probably give this one like a. It's slightly less matte, like probably a two or two or three. My scale is probably really messed up. It's probably really out of like a zero out of five, not zero out of ten. So, uh, yeah, the shine on here on the hydro clay is probably like a four, and this is probably like a three. And then like the Arcadian is probably like a one or yeah, one or two. Anyways, I'm done rambling for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, CCP Labs people, the guys at CCP Labs. Um, thank you guys for creating this product. Thank you for sending this product. It's really bomb. Thank you to the new subscribers to the channel. We're at 116. This shit's fire. Uh, yeah. I really appreciate it, man. This is crazy. This is wild. 
I'm just having fun making videos. Uh, I was I was just like gone for a little bit. I was on vacation. I'm just kind of living life and just making videos and it's nothing like crazy or anything. I'm just having fun with it. So if you guys enjoy this video, uh, hit that subscribe button. That's that's what really matters um, to help this channel grow. More people will see it. Uh, I appreciate everyone's comments, regardless if it's like negative or even if people uh, dislike the video. I don't really care, man. I'm just here to help uh, you know educate people on some products, my opinions uh, on on these on these products, and hopefully helps make people helps people make better decisions on the products that they de they decide on buying. So you know, don't 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 be shy. Leave a comment for sure. I'll definitely reply probably. Definitely reply probably is what I just said. Oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.